Good morning. Time for another prayer and coffee. A rising tide of prayer has always preceded an outpouring of God's presence. In Acts 1.14, the apostles devoted themselves to prayer as they waited for the outpouring of Holy Spirit. The church was gathered for prayer as Peter and John were released from custody, and when they had prayed, the place was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. After Paul was blinded by the light that shone around him from heaven in Acts 9, Paul fasted and prayed until Ananias prayed for him and he was filled with Holy Spirit. Cornelius, uh, Cornelius was praying in Caesarea and Peter was praying in Joppa in Acts 10 and God spoke to both of them separately, brought them together and as Peter preached the word, the Holy Spirit filled everyone in Cornelius' house. We've been praying here and with a small group of prayer warriors at Community Haven continuously for two years for the promise of Acts 2, verses 17 and 18. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. There has been a rising tide of prayer across America, and the outpouring of Holy Spirit is just beginning. But it is beginning. Let's pray. Father, I receive you fresh today. I re receive your divine life in me today. I receive your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I arise to trust in you with all my heart. I pray that you would unite my heart to your heart. Jesus, I ask you would break every limit in what we've placed on what you can do and how you can do it. And Lord, even when you can do it. Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness for those limits. And I say break them in your power and your name. I receive you, Holy Spirit, fresh today. Breathe on me. You know what I need. You are my counselor, my comforter, my strength, my guide. So I ask that you would increase my awareness of your moving, your leadership, your pace, your rhythm, your way as you usher in this new move of God. Lord, I stand with you against my enemies, against every scheme that has been set against me, my family, my church. Show me the warfare set against me, and in your authority, I stand against it by your power and through your life, your name. I take my stand with you, and I say it stops now in the authority of Jesus Christ. And I ask for you to begin a new work in me, a new shift for a new, a new generation for now to restore your church for this time. Jesus, our eyes are on you as we pray in your mighty name. Amen.